Welcome to Inside Intrepid Education, a video series about exploring with history and science. My name is Alex, I'm an educator with the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum, and today we're going to talk about the anatomy of a comet and what it means for space science and exploration. Comets are leftover remnants from the early days of the solar system. Most comets exist at the outer edges of the solar system in a place that we call the Oort cloud. Now sometimes comets will collide with each other. This will send one careening toward the sun. When that happens, it becomes very bright in the sky and we can see it easily from the Earth. As the comet nears the sun, it begins to glow brightly through a process that we call sublimation. Our experiment today is going to recreate that process for you. Comets are made up mostly of ice. Now this ice comes in two different forms. We have carbon dioxide ice, what's known as dry ice, and we also have water ice. Comets also contain rock and dust, which I'm gonna simulate right here with some soil and rock I've got in a bottle. Comets also contain ammonia, methane, and other chemicals. So I'm gonna simulate that by putting a little glass cleaner into my comet as well. Now the first step is to break our dry ice into very small powdery pieces. So cover up my ice, grab my trusty hammer, all right, we've smashed up our ice into a nice fine powder. Now it's time to mix the ingredients together. Now we're going to add our dirt and soil and rocky material. Comets have a good amount of dust and rock within them besides the ice. Now it's time to combine our ingredients. Take an ordinary plastic trash bag, a heavy duty trash bag works best. Pour in my dirt. Always do the ice last. So next you want water my ammonia, and finally, the dry ice. Make sure you get it all in, and then take the bag, close it, and using your gloved hands, compress all the ingredients together at the bottom. Oh, there it is. And there is my comet. The gas you see coming off of the comet is part of the process of sublimation. That is a substance going straight from its solid phase into a gas phase without stopping at a liquid in between. The sublimating gases produce the tail of the comet that you see in the sky at night. One of the main reasons we study comets is because comets are suspected to have brought water to the planet Earth. And water, as we all know, is one of the key ingredients for life. So by recreating the anatomy of a comet, we've unlocked a piece of our own history. Thanks for watching. Keep experimenting and exploring, and please visit us at intrepidmuseum.org.